Catch. Welcome everyone. This is the very first round one AFL Value Pack League. King of the Ring style. We did King of the Ring last year for eight weeks. This one's a full season, 22. How it works for those who are new. Best card wins, basically. Those are the ratios. So, best card wins. So, if someone was to pull... The platinum brown low, someone else would have to pull it or they're basically lost. So the two top cards, obviously platinum brown low is the number one. Brown low is the next, then the black starburst. And funnily enough, the Disneyland competition is next. So if you pull a Disneyland competition card, you're actually in a good spot to win the game. You win, you go into the next round, you get another value pack. You lose, you're out. You get the cards that are in your value pack. And I knew what I forgot. I forgot to write down people's names. So I was in a rush. I'll bring that as we go. What do we need? 16 of them. I'll do that now quickly. A massive rush. So you get a loss against your name. If you win all rounds, you get four wins for tonight. And four wins in the winner's column could set you up to finish in the top eight. Now, there will be a prize attached to be determined soon enough and I'm telling you it will be good who knows what it could be could be anything at this stage all right let's get that out we've done that I'll write the names as we go along so if you don't understand the rules let me because I can't see the the chat the chat's here but I'm looking here but I will come back to that that's how it works for tonight only because the ladder isn't no games have been played i'm going to go by last year's ladder so that's only in the case if the the two cards are the best cards are the same and then the next two cards are the same i'll revert to the ladder and it'll be ladder positions adelaide at one brisbane at last our first matchup tonight is dale johnson and jason dobrovsky one will continue on, one will go home, tail between their legs, and hopefully getting next round. Could have sold out six of these today, the amount of people that missed out, but unfortunately, I've got enough to do one round for the rest of the year, every AFL round. So we'll go coincide with the day before the, the game. So most of them will be Thursday night, uh, and the odd one will be Wednesday. That's it. It's Dale Johnson v. Jason Dabrowski. Winner remains. Loser knocked out. Good luck, lads. This is the kickoff. The ball goes up. The big men fly. Bang! Here we go. Jason Dabrowski v. Dale Johnson. Good luck. This is it. Let me refresh. Chat's gone dead. Alrighty, here we go. Good luck all. Three minutes ago. Dom. This is it. Dale Johnson. One continues. One goes home. Dale Johnson v. Jason Dabrowski. Here we go. Dale starts with Trent Dumont, orange. Mr. Dabrowski. Trent Dumont, orange. Well, there's how you start the competition. Same card. Here we go. Dale Johnson. He will start with a yellow starburst. Tim Taranto and Daniel Talia. So his best card is that. Jason Dabrowski will fight back with an Andrew McGrath, a Lex, and a Heath Grundy. So Dale Johnson in front at this point. 
Dale second pack. Will be a selects Jake Barrett and Bailey Dale. Still has the lead, Mr. Dabrowski. Will be hard to beat now. He has a milestone game. One in nine packs. Neville Jetta. Jason Dabrowski in the lead. Will open his last pack now. He finishes with a Mickey Barlow. A grader. And a Harry Taylor. First match. 2018 value pack league I can tell you now Dale needs a Disneyland competition card an AFL Starburst Black or a Brownlow Predictor or he's going home or he needs a milestone and on the countback system he'd win good luck Dale you could be the first casualty of 2018 and you are you are gone Jacob Wiedering and Dion Prestia. Dale is out. First round. He is gone. He will get his cards sent to him. Well done for that. But you are out. Jason Dabrowski will fight another day. He will go into the round, the quarterfinals. Jason Dabrowski, the first man through. Well done. Our next matchup, Chris Stewart will take on Paul Lenzarini. Battle of the South Australia versus WA here. We have got Chris Stewart v. Paul Lenzarini, the winner to take on Jason Dabrowski in the second round, the quarterfinal stage. Chris Stewart. Paul Lenzarini. Here we go. Who will meet Dabrowski in the next round? Lenzarini. Starts with Tommy Lynch. Orange. Chris Stewart gets Tommy Phillips. Here we go. Chris Stewart to start. Chris Stewart starts strongly. He's got the Disneyland card. David Swallow. He'll be hard to beat with that. Can Paul Lanzarini fighting out of the West? Well, there you go. This could be interesting. Michael Hartley. We're evenly poised. This one could come back to the countback system. The second best card. We are evens. Chris Stewart. Bang! Stephen Hill, 162. Brownlow predictor. Martin Gleeson. Paul needs a Brownlow. Or better. He won't get it. Tommy Barras and Daniel Rioli. To start off. Chris Stewart in the box seat here. It's 1 in 12 packs the Disney card. And he's got a black as well. To rub salt into the wounds. Wayne Malera. 348 from Chris Stewart, the new favourite on the tote. Well, Mr. Lenzarini needs a miracle here. He needs a platinum, pretty much. Will he get something? Paul Lenzarini goes home. A shame, too. Archie into Carl Langford. Paul Lanzarini, probably the worst showing we've seen. Outclassed. And on the way home. But Chris Stewart through to the next phase. The quarterfinal action. 
to face Jason Dabrowski. Wow, Lee, what a start for Chris Stewart. On fire early. I need to update this quickly and put the first quarter final quarter final matchup. We need it in black. It is Jason Dabrowski. versus Chris Stewart in a spot for the semi-final. Our next matchup is Zach Christian. He will take on William Tulip. Good luck, lads. Only one person can get through to the next. Yeah, that was a thrashing. That was an ass-kicking if ever I've saw one. Zach Christian will and I've smudged him will that do damage I don't know will Tulip good luck boys one will go through one will go home Chris Stewart with the biggest ass kicking so far this season that was a 20 goal margin easily 120 points there Let's see where we go with this one. Zach Christian to take on Will Tulip. Winner to go through to the quarters. There isn't a there will be a ladder. Updated every week. Win percentage is the whole shebang. Will Tulip starts with Michael Hibbert Orange. Zach Christian. Tommy Lynch. Here we go. Zach Christian. Starts off with an A grader. Sean Grigg as his best card. Aiden Core. Will. Will fight back. With. A great start. He's got Tommy Jonas. 100 game milestone. And Jed Buse is in the front. He will start the next pack. Will Tulip. With a lead. Can he push on? He won't with this one. Calamar Chi and Tommy Papley. Zach's in trouble. Zach's in a bit of strife. And he'll stay in strife. A grade is still his best card. Who's that? Jack Billings and Lyndon Dunn. No real quality yet in this one. A bit of a battle of the cellar dwellers. Well, he's just increased his lead. He's got the Disneyland prize card. Christian Salem. On the countback system, Zach will lose. He needs a black starburst, a brown low, or he goes home. Can he pull one out of the fire? He won't tonight. He's going home. Brady Gray, Dean Towers. It's good night to Zach Christian. Unfortunately, he goes home. And Will Tulip fights on to the quarterfinals. No great heights in that one. Never got... Uh, never got up to the standards... Uh, of the first couple of matches. But Will Tulip will take that. A win's a win. Our next matchup. Daniel Ramage. From Queensland. Against the pride of Tasmania. Dominic Zoymek. Australia wide this is going. Australia wide. It's a, a battle of the states. Who will come out on top? Let me write in Will Tulip. He's through. Will Tulip's through without a, a real worry in the first round. Daniel Ramage to take on Mr. Zoymak. Here we go.
the pride of Tasmania versus Queensland's finest. Here we go. Good luck. Daniel starts with Tommy Phillips orange. She's had a few same oranges. Christian Salem orange. Let's do it. Daniel Ramage. Starts off with a bang. Tommy McDonald. Not Tommy. Luke McDonald. Brownlow predictor 221. And Darcy Tucker. Oh boy. What can Zoymek pull out here? Zoymer. He's in trouble. Andrew Gaff. Phil Davis. Boy, oh boy. Daniel Ramage in the box seat. Dylan Robertson, Timmy Taranto. Zoymek needs a miracle in this one. Not with that. That won't get him anywhere. Jake Lloyd, Jager Amir. He hasn't been training by the look of it. He's come back a bit under the weather. He hasn't fired a shot. Daniel Ramage, Luke Parkington, Jordan DeGoey. He needs a miracle to Zoymek or he's going home. Zoymek is out. Wow. Some had him as the favourite. Dane Beams. Braden Maynard. There you go. Dominic Zoymek goes home. Cup in hand. And who knows? That kind of loss could make you not come back. You just don't know. The shame. Going back to tell the fans you got pumped like that. Not a good place to be tonight at the Zoymek household. Got his ass handed to him. Plain and simple. Daniel Ramage goes through to face William Tulip. Daniel Ramage. He goes through. Robert Verhove v. Charbel. Habeda, who's missed a lot of breaks. Keep saying he's... Well, let's write their names. That might help. Robert Verhove. Robert Verhove. We'll take on Charbel Habeda. Oh boy. Could be a grudge match. Rob, if you go by last year's form, was pretty poor, to say the least. She's had a good start. A bit too brown lows already. We're only a couple of packs in. Arvahove V Santa <laughs> Charbel Abeda. Here we go. Doesn't want really to go in the box. Get in there. there we go. This is it. Orange. Dane Beams to start. Ryan Burton Orange to start. Robert Verhoeve. This is unbelievable. Bang! Sam Jacobs, number 18. That's three Brownlow predictors. Lockie Plowman. What a start to the bloody night. It doesn't get better than this. Charbel's in trouble. 
That won't cut the mustard. Michael Hibbard. Blake Akers. Rob may have been training. Rob may well have been training. He's got a big lead already. I'm not sure what you are, Rob, to be fair. Left, right, up, down. Dylan Grimes, 100 games. Tommy Jonas. We've had three brown lays. We've only done 10 value packs. Charbel needs a miracle. And he won't get it with Sam Petreski Seaton or Luke Brown. There you go, he's on peptides. That sums it up there. Arvahove to get into a quarterfinal. Michael Hurley, Ed Langdon. Charbel absolutely needs a miracle. And he ain't going to get it tonight. He's out. Daniel Howe and Lin Zhong. He's gone. Like yesterday's news, it's over for Sharble. They're throwing tomatoes as he's at his bus as he leaves. But Robert Verhove is on the march. He goes into a quarter. Well done, Mr. Verhove. You're through. Robert Verhove. Done. Let's mark this one down now. One of the favourites for the competition. Up next, Stephen King, Tiger King. One of the favourites. We've had three Brownlows already tonight. I've lost the chat. The chat's gone. I need to get that back up. Sorry for this, guys. Chat just left me. I'm on two computers at the moment. And that's not what I want to see. Let's get that. Oh, you prick. I hate laptops. Let me just say that. I like a normal mouse, not these rubber button crappy roll your finger on. All right. Well done to Zach. He's out. Stephen King. Mickey Kennedy. Michael Kennedy, the big underdog here. By a long way, too. Underdog by a fair bit. This could get ugly, this one. Stephen King, pre-tournament favourite. Centibet had him at $1.03, which was very short. Very short in the odds. I don't think anyone should be that short in King of the Ring. Let's see what they get. Mickey Kennedy. Mickey gets those. Stephen King will get these. The old tiger, the master of the AFL. He's got a middle named after him. Here we go. Ryan Burton. Jeez, we've had a few of the same oranges, haven't we? Ryan Burton for Kelso. Nick Nat for Stephen King. Here we go. Here we go. Well, what a start. What a start for Michael Kennedy. Stephen King. Oh, they've, they've blown him out to a buck fifty now. He's in a bit of strife. Jared Harbrow. Harrison Himmelberg. He's in a bit of strife. Oh, God. Michael Kennedy. Oh, he's just put a, another little chink in the armor. He's got that one as his second card. 100 games. Mickey Walters. Tommy Stewart. Can the old master... Pull something out where he has to. Here we go. 
Stephen King's in a lot of trouble. Tommy Phillips and Tyson Goldsack. He's in a world of hurt. He's on the ropes. He's on the ropes. Mickey Kennedy could be the first upset of the round. Lockie Neal and Jack Sinclair. Well, Tiger King. Here we go. He's got out of situations like this before. Can he do it tonight? No. He's out. There's the first shock of the tournament. The round one upset. He's gone. Stephen King out in the first round. Mickey Kennedy to march on to the quarterfinals. Oh, boy. He'll face Arvahov. It's a 1 in 12 pack card, yes. The last of the round of 16. Oh, no, it's not. We've got two matches left. Michael Kennedy is true. Let me put that into black. Adam Wilkie v. David Biggins. Yeah, the bookies are wrapped in that one. Adam Wilkie will take on David Biggins. In a big heavyweight fight, this one. We've had three Brownlows and a black thus far. It's been one hell of a night so far. Surely there can't be much left in these. Adam Wilkie will take on David Biggins. Here we go. Adam Wilkie gets Buddy Franklin. He'll be wrapped in that. He's a Swan supporter. David Biggins gets Liam Picken. Even money battle this one. Just a slow start. Jack Zebel, James Sicily. David Biggins. We'll start strong. 150 milestone game. Jeff Garlett. One in nine pack. Zach Fisher. Biggins with the upper hand. Mitch Duncan. Darcy Byrne Jones. Has Adam Wilkie got any lead in his pencil? Well, I don't know if he's got lead in his pencil, but has he got any fight left in him? David Zaharakis and Luke McDonald. He could be going home as well. Wow. Could be going home. David Biggins with the lead. Biggie. Will Hoskin Elliott. And Adam Tomlinson. Adam Wilkie. He's in trouble as well. It's sad to see teams go down like this. He needs a Disneyland competition card, a Starburst Black or a Predictor, or he's gone. He's out. Wilkie's gone. He's got a Ryan Burton yellow and a Taylor Garner. David Biggins through to the next phase of the tournament into the last grouping of the quarterfinals. D. Biggins. Unfortunately for Mr. Wilkie, 
He didn't have any lead in his pencil, and he's going home. Last of the round of 16 sees Carl Hillier, a doggies man, take on the Mighty Blues in Wayne Haynes. Well done. Here we go. Must put in. Things are falling down. What was that? It was David Biggins. Here we go. We'll make that black as well. This is it. It's the last of the round of 16. Carl Hillier to take on Wayne Haynes. Let's get it on. Let's rock and roll. Carl Hillier to take on the might of the Blues, Wayne Haynes. He's my favourite for the tournament. Like the Blues tomorrow night against the Tigers. Watch the mighty Blues come home strong here. Carl Hillier. Well, talking about the Blues, he gets Young Jack, Silvani, and Tim Membry for Wayne Haynes. Here we go. Carl Hillier. Connor Glass. Matthew Wright. That won't win it for you, Carl. Not yet. One in three pack selects. Oh, it's an even battle. Here we go. Jack Loney. Nick Smith. A little bit of an even matchup here. Very even. Another selects. Dan Houston. Matthew Broadbent. Skill level poor at the moment in this one. Scrappy affair. Wayne... Haynes, Jacob Hopper. Well, this could go to ladder positions yet. Jeff Garlett. This could be the first of the night to happen. Basically, same cards all the way through. Carl Hillier. Can he lift the standard? Show us something. And he has 150. Daniel Rich. He's just said, there I am. Here I am. Joel Hamling. Wayne Haynes needs a Disney card, a milestone game. He needs a miracle. And he's got it. This will be the first. Reese Stanley, this will be the first that will go. Their best cards are the same. And their next best cards are all the same. This will go to ladder positions from to 17 and the Western Bulldogs finished 10th and the Brisbane Lions finished 18th Wayne Haynes by the skin of his you know what has got through Carl Hillier unfortunately goes out and Wayne Haynes in by the skin wow that's the closest one we've had and the only time we've had to go that was identical Wayne Haynes through to the quarter finals well done Wayne Haynes we are now into the quarter final stage of this one and we've got Jason Dabrowski versus Chris Stewart Jason, one will go home with a win and a loss. The other will march on in to the semi-finals. Jason Dabrowski versus Chris Stewart. Who's had a good one already. He got a black and a brown low. Good luck, boys. No girls involved tonight. This is it. Quarter-final action at the home of AFL. Jason Dabrowski will take on Chris Stewart. 
for a real shot at the whole sh kit and caboodle. I really need to improve on my rubbish technique. Here we go. Matt Crouch, Adelaide Crows. Chris Stewart, he could have the dream run. He's the form player, Liam Picken. Here we go. Jared Polek, Lewis Jetta. Chris Stewart, who's come on, but we could be close again. Nick Nat, Zane Cordy. A bit tight in the shorts, the boys. Scared to throw a big left hook. Dabrowski will improve slightly with an A grader. Jeremy Cameron. Kane Turner. Chris Stewart. Round one was the big winner. He's in a bit of strife here. He's in a lot of strife, in fact. Hugh McCluggage, Dylan Grimes. He's in strife. He could be the one hit wonder. Johnny Young, all my loving style here. He's in a bit of strife, the lad. Jason Dabrowski won't improve though. He's left the door ajar. Dana Her and Barrett. Chris Stewart needs better than an A grader. Milestone will do. A Disney card will do. An A grader would see us go to the countback system. Chris Stewart is going home. He was a one-hit wonder. He's out. But by Georgie went home with a nice little package. Black and a brown low. But he's gone. Jason Dabrowski just slightly going. Better than everyone else. Just slightly. But doing enough to get through. He's through to a semi-final. He'll get another win. He'll march on. Deep into September. Well done, Jason Dabrowski. Very well done. This is the next one. It is Will Tulip v. D. Ramage. Tassie versus Queensland. Can Will stand up and show that there is a bit of fight left in footy in Tasmania? And same with Daniel. Queensland footy on the nose. Smelly, but we'll see if one of them can lift the standards tonight. Will Tulip is here. V. Daniel Ramage. Let's rock and roll, gents. S Sam Menegola. Buddy Franklin. Jeez, we've had a lot of the same oranges. All right, here we go. Will Tulip. Ramage the Informer. He's got the Brownlow in the first round. Bradley Hill and David McKay. Oh, big punch thrown, yeah. Brandon Matera for the Suns, 100. And Brady Gray. Ramage in the box seat. Big time. He won't improve, though. Archie Smith and Jacob Wietering. What can Will do here? Big Willie. Wow, Willie takes the lead. Tommy Bell Chambers. Will has said, oh, no, no, no. Sorry, Daniel. I'm not going out like that. But he won't improve on it. Jack McRae and Nathan Brown. 
has Daniel got any fight left in him? He needs a miracle. He ain't going to get it. Zach Fisher and Paddy Ryder. And Will, the competition man. He's winning with competition cards every round. And he'll be into the semi-finals where he'll take on Jason Dabrowski. And Daniel Ramage goes home pretty happy, actually. A win and a loss and a Brownlow predictor. You'll be taking that every day of the week. Well done, Mr. Ramage. But Will Tulip is in to the semi-finals. Our next, on the other side of the draw, Robert Verhove, who's got a brown low himself, will take on Michael Kennedy. Here we go. Mickey Kennedy v. R. Verhove. Let's see where we end up tonight. Two people left on one side of the draw. There'll be two left after this one too. Robert opens up with Harry Taylor. Michael Kennedy with Dion Prestia. Here we go. Matty Scharenberg and Will Haywood. So a one in three. -er. Mickey Kennedy. Wow, well, evens. Caleb Marchbank. Jacob Weedering. This one might go down to the wire. Robert Verhove improves a little. Jared Harbrow, Harrison Himmelberg. Will Michael Kennedy do something? No, he won't. Liam Picken, Ben Keys. This could go to the countback. Unless something happens here, this will definitely go to the count back. Really need to clean up that stuff. Here we go. Robert Vaho. Is in trouble, I reckon. Tommy Williamson, Tyson Goldsack. I think he's in a bit of strife. Michael Kennedy goes, well, he doesn't go bang. He goes Sam Menegola and Liam Duggan. So this one will go to the count back system. And the second best card is Mickey Kennedy. He's got two star bursts versus one and two selects for Rob. So Rob goes home, but he goes home with a brown light predictor. Nothing to be ashamed of there. He's had a good run. He was probably behind Ray, the worst performer last year. So to have a win and a loss early, early in the season, you, you take that. I think you take it. I think he'll take it. He'll be happy with that. Michael Kennedy is through. Last matchup in the quarterfinals. We got well done to Michael Kennedy. David Biggins fighting for Carlton. Wayne Haynes. Both had interesting starts. 
Let's get it on. David Biggins v. Wayne Haynes. Yeah, much improved effort. He's come back a lot fitter this year. Started pre-season in December. Looking to improve on last year. And early signs are he has. But it's a long, grueling season, this one. This is round one. Good to get a win on the board early, though. Keeps the fans happy. Keeps the sponsors on board. Jack Billings will take on Jeremy Cameron here. Let's see who gets the win. It's D Biggins. Start strong. Hayden Ballantyne, 150. Tommy Stewart. Wayne Haynes. Wow, black. Scotty Thompson, 323. Josh Smith, our second black. We've had three brown lows and two blacks. Wayne Haynes. Harris Andrews and Brett Deledio. What can David Biggins do? He goes, hello, but it's not good enough. Sam Frost. He's in trouble, David Biggins. Wayne Haynes. He's taken the foot off the pedal. I hope he hasn't pulled up short. Dan Hanabry and Sean Makers. He's in the box seat, but it looks like they're taking the foot off. Mr. Biggins needs a big one. He's lost. He's gone. Parsons and Nelson. David Biggins is out. He is gone, skis. Gone. Wayne Haynes fights on. The Hain train just keeps on a chugging along and will get into the semis. Two wins. A chance to top the ladder after round one. The top eight will make interesting reading tonight. That is Wayne Haynes. Well done. All right, here we go. Why has it done that? There we go. Make it there. For a spot in the last two tonight, Jason Dabrowski will take on Will Tulip. Neither have shown a hell of a lot. But they've got through. And sometimes an ugly win's a good win. Any win's a good win. You can win ugly. For a spot in the last two of the night, the Brafsky will take on Tulip. Vic V. Tazzy, by the way. If you're playing by states tonight. Michael Hibbard for Dabrowski. Christian Petrarca for Tulip. Here we go. Semi-final action. Stephen Hill yellow. Richie Douglas. What can Will Tulip do? Willie. He's in trouble early. Riley Knight. Bailey Dale. He's been in this position before. He knows how to win from behind. That's a good thing. The Broski's gone through just nonchalantly, really. Hasn't set the world on fire. Andrew Gaff. Jordan Ruffhead. Will. Will Tulip. Steph Martin. He's in trouble, Will. Jack Sinclair. 
No, he's in the front. A graders is one in six. He's got the lead. He's got the lead, William. Can he improve on it, but he won't improve on it. Timmy Taranto, Daniel Tarly, no real high skill match this one in the semi. But you wouldn't expect that. Jason Dabrowski needs better than an A grader. So a milestone would do it. A Disneyland comp would do it. A burst black or a brown low predictor. And guess what? He's gone. He has gone. Dabrowski's gone. Dan Butler and Kane Lambert. Good night, Irene. Dabrowski is out. Oh, boy. Gone. Into the final goes Will Tulip. With a stack of cards, too. Well done, Will. Round one. You'll at worst be second on the ladder after tonight. Will Tulip will take on the winner of Michael Kennedy and Wayne Ains. Kennedy's gone through with no real big hype. He's just done what he's had to do. No questions asked. Wayne Haynes has been superb. And Mr. Kennedy will take on Wayne Haynes. Here we go. Wayne Haynes gets... George Holland Smith. Mr. Kennedy will get Dylan Roberton. Here we go for a spot against Will. Peter Wright. Mitch Hannon. Wayne Ains. A grader takes the lead. Tommy Mitchell, Brett Deledio. This is starting to get very dicey. Wayne Haynes. Doesn't improve though. Harris Andrews. Josh Smith. Mr. Kennedy. Oh, Mr. Kennedy goes bang. Daniel Wells, 250 games. And James Parsons. Wow. He set the bar now. He said, if you want to beat me, here it is. He's put it all on the line. Mickey Barlow and Luke Dunstan. Well, for a spot in the final... Wayne Haynes needs a milestone better than Collingwood, pretty much. And he'd wrap it up. A Disneyland comp card. A Brownlow predictor, a black or a platinum. The siren's gone. It's a kick after the siren. Carlton, two points down, having a shot at goal. Wayne Haynes lines up and goes. Oh, he's gone. He's out. Finished. Just finished Carlton's season. He's gone, Wayne Haynes, but he'll take a black starburst home and a couple of wins and a loss, and he'll be in the eight tonight. He'll be sitting in the eight. Nothing is to be ashamed about there. But Michael Kennedy... Is in to the final. Wow, we is all I can say. And this is it. Michael Kennedy will take on Will Tulip for top of the ladder after round one. Will Tulip gets the right to be on the right of screen. My left. And it's the last two value packs in this box. I 
I'll come. Just wait. I'm nearly finished. Last two. Here we go. It's the final. Will Chulip. Mickey Kennedy. Let's just hope we get the grand final we've all wanted. And deserve. This is it. This is it. Good luck, lads. The oranges come out. It's Tommy Boyd and Brad Ebert. Kennedy v. Tulip. Grand final. Round one. King of the Ring AFL value pack select AFL value pack league. Darcy Tucker. Tommy Williamson. Mickey Kennedy. Orazio Fantasia. Nick Ains. He's got the slight lead, Mick. But he won't improve it. Tommy Lynch, Timmy Broomhead. Will Tulip is saying, well, you haven't put me out of my misery yet. I might have another go here. But he hasn't improved either. Oscar McDonald, Dan Houston. Can someone stand up and take home the Norm Smith here? Mickey Kennedy. Is well, I don't think he's done enough. Brandon Parfit, Kieran Jack, Will Tulip may take this out. He's got the wind, it's the last quarter. He only has to beat a starburst. But if it's a countback and he gets a starburst, Mickey Kennedy will win. Here we go. For a spot at Immortality and the win in round one of the Value Pack League, I can see a silver. It's Michael Johnson. He needs a starburst or better. Will Tulip goes bang and he wins it. He wins it after the siren. With a 150 milestone game, Nathan Brown. The winner here is Will. Mickey Kennedy, three wins and a loss in round one. He's second on the uh, the ladder. But Will Tulip is ahead and strong. Looks strong this season. Gutsy wins in each of the rounds. That's it for round one of the Value Pack League. We'll be back day before next week's AFL uh, round starts. Big thanks to everyone who went in it. Look, if you didn't get in it, have a crack next week. I know there was a, about at least 20 people a bit disappointed they couldn't get in. It'll be on Gimco next week. First in, best dressed, unfortunately, guys. I've only got enough to do one around for 22 rounds and finals. There will be a prize, and I'm guessing it'll be a good one too. Yet to be determined. I'll, well, as soon as I find out, I'll give you the uh, the rundown of what it is. Big thanks to everyone who participated in the night. Will, well done. Michael Kennedy, better luck uh, next time. To the blokes that lost in the first round, pick up your game, boys. That was disgraceful. Dead set disgraceful. Got to be better than that. Lift the standard, especially you, Zymac. Get on the track, train. That's it. And Stephen King. Boy, oh boy. Had higher hopes for you, son. That is it. Thank you all. I hope you enjoyed the night. Till next week in round two.